Posted uh, this weekend this little project that I worked on, and I just wanted to make a quick video about it. Um, I've had this old Gibson GA20 combo amp for about a year, and uh, it's a early '50s octal preamp, uh, like this black metal octal tubes. Um, which I've always loved. I had a tweed, wide panel tweed deluxe years ago. I can't remember which version they call that, like a 5D3 or a 5C3. It's one of those. Fender made them in the early 50s as well. Always loved the tonality of that octal thing. It's like, a, I don't know what it is exactly. It's like a, uh, to me, it's like a quicker transient mid-range thing that has like a, quicker attack or something um, anyway I traded that amp years ago to uh, to Jeff Sen and um, I got this GA20 and it had it it was in its original cabinet and it sounded really good and uh, nothing nothing wrong with it at all you know it's a great amp in its original cabinet but I just thought um, you know, uh, there's a lot of baffling in front of the speaker in those original cabinets. There's like the cross crossbar section, and then there's there's a thing in the middle of the cone where the little Gibson logo went, I think, a little tin plate. Um, anyway, and it's kind of a shallow cabinet compared to a Tweed Deluxe, and I thought, man, I wonder if that amp would do a little bit more if it was in a slightly deeper cabinet. Um, and the speaker had more of a chance to kind of get out there. So I I just rehoused the amplifier in a Mojo Tweed Deluxe cab. Uh, there it is there. Let's see if I can <laughs> look at this while I'm doing it. Um, so that's it. I had this nice little nameplate made. Dream Deluxe. Um, anyway, it came out great. And it does have, I feel like it does have a, a little more subtle low end and um, seems to get out there a bit more. You know, I would say it's probably about a 10 to 15 percent, 20 percent difference maybe, which is worth it, I think. Um, it wasn't that hard to do. And, uh, and now I can kind of drag it around and not feel as, uh, you know, conscious to take it to a gig or whatever. Um, Ebo tuned it up for me last year, so it's working great, nice and quiet. And I don't know if if they're like schematic wise, how close it is to a Tweed Deluxe. Um, it seems to be the same layout, the four, in, four inputs, a microphone and a volume channel, two for each, and then a global tone control. And the microphone does seem to be, the microphone channel is interactive when you plug into the normal channel. So you can kind of find sweet spots with those. Um, there you go, that's about all I know. It's got a, an old, pretty whipped C12N speaker, which I love. This one is, I can tell it doesn't have a lot left in it. It's starting to just cave a little bit. Um, anyway. It's a great 
that was a great little experiment that worked for once. So that's just the amp breaking up. There's no overdrives or anything that you can hear. And when you lighten up, it cleans up, which I love. And that's the old school tremolo, which I love. You notice that the buffer in this pedal um, does something to the high end, which I really love. Here is it without. Here's it without the tremolo, which sometimes I'll just leave it on for the for the buffer sound. Just kind of brightens it up, gives it a little more presence. Um, anyway, hope everybody's doing good. Thanks for tuning back in to the shed shows, and um, more to come. <laughs>